tastes kind of like a generic action shooter and a lot of hair product. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for 12 Strong. I know I'm very late for this review, but just felt like seeing a movie on Tuesday for cheap prices, so I went and saw 12 Strong, and the film has an interesting concept. It talks about the first engagement, the first insertion of American soldiers into Afghanistan after the attack of 9-11, and that is a cool idea. It also talks about how these guys moved around on horses, how they worked with the local militia, that was also interesting. But I couldn't take the movie seriously for two reasons. One of them is everyone looked fucking fantastic with their hair. There's two guys in this, uh, in their squad. They've supposedly been here for 21 days. And one of them has so much goddamn moose in his hair. It's ridiculous. It is absurd. Like, he's the guy on the radio and he's just like, you think he's doing this. He's like, we need an airdrop, guys! Chris Hemsworth, too. Swear, never not any moose in his hair. Yeah, I only bring it up because of how obvious it was. A movie that I kept on bringing up and comparing to in terms of a current day military shooter sort of film was Black Hawk Down. Not anyone really has hair in that. Some of the Special Forces guys do have hair, but it's short cropped hair. No one has like, except maybe Eric Bana, but Otherwise, everyone looks normal or doesn't have any hair product. This movie, it's so obvious that people have hair product in, it just, yeah. And the second is how generic it is. There are so many cliches from other military shooters in this movie. Soldier who makes a friend with the local boy who is in the conflict. Generals have disagreements and at the last second they come together and they even have a bro moment. Guys getting blown up but then having these shell shock moments. Shell shock moments are just a given ever since Saving Private Ryan. The movie isn't bad, it's just not good either I would say. That's just my thing. It's a very generic sort of film. The performances in this film are eh? Chris Hemsworth is always eh? honestly when he's not playing Thor. Michael Shannon's in this and Michael Shannon isn't creepy at all. It's actually kind of unsettling that he's not creepy. He doesn't do much. He slips a disc. Michael Pena is a great actor and he's kind of there just for jokes. There are some decent action scenes, but they are so repetitive in terms of how they are executed. The end scene is pretty interesting. There's this big cavalry charge, but I almost couldn't take it seriously because I don't know how any of these guys are getting popped out. However, I do not know the full extent of the actual battle. It's kind of the same situation when I went and saw Lone Survivor. I really enjoyed Lone Survivor and I wondered if half of that was true. To an extent, most of it was. The jumping down the mountain was definitely true. Them getting a shot as much as they did, not entirely true, but sort of similar to the situation. I'd have to do the same thing for 12 Strong here. But just the ending was just so Hollywood. It just made me kind of, it took me out of it in terms of, like I said, a realistic movie about a combat event. It's not a bad movie. People will probably enjoy it. The action itself is not too bad. It's not PG, but it's not R either. It's kind of this weird in-between. I don't even know how to describe it because there's blood, but most of it's fake blood. But then there's a guy who blows himself up and there's all this gore on a tire at one point. And this is a whoop. What? So, yeah, it's not an R-rated movie, but it's not a PG-13 movie either. It's, well, for Canadians, it's 14A. Wow, it actually, like, fell on that perfectly. In the end, 12 Strong is a watchable movie. It's a generic popcorn flick military movie, but there are many other films that do the service much better than this film. In the end, 12 Strong will most likely be forgotten, and it is a January release, mainly just for, for how bland it is. So in the end, I'm going to give 12 Strong a 3 out of 7. You guys will maybe enjoy it, but you really won't remember it after you've seen it. I saw it yesterday, and I'm already forgetting things. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. If you like this video, leave a like down below, and if you're interested, maybe subscribe. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.